Wonder Hussy here. I know a lot of my viewers are worried about me. You know, I go out into some of the remotest parts of Death Valley and the Mojave Desert into some pretty sketchy situations. And so a lot of my viewers are commenting that they hope I'm carrying a gun or a knife or some sort of protection. Because what about, you know, rattlesnakes, mountain lions, that kind of thing? Well, it just so happens that I have some really good friends that work for a company called Personal Security Products out of Arkansas. And they make stun guns, bear spray, pepper spray, all kinds of um, personal protection devices. And my girlfriend just gave me one of their brand new products. This is really cool. It's called the Hike and Strike. Hike and Strike. It's basically a hiking stick, which I already use when I'm hiking. But it has a 950,000 volt stun gun in the handle. So while you're hiking along and a meth head or a rapist or a serial killer jumps out from behind a boulder, <laughs> you have a way to protect yourself. I'm gonna Okay, I mean, check this out. This is legit. This is made with a Zap stun gun, which is a real stun gun for real protection. Brand name is the Strike stun device with spike electrodes and a flashlight. It actually has 114 lumen flashlight in the tip as well. Really cool. Goes from 29 inches up to 56 inches, so it's adjustable. And it features these exclusive extreme spike electrodes. Pretty cool. Okay, so out of the package, you can see it just looks like your regular average hiking stick. You know, it's marked uh, with centimeters or inches, I guess. So you can adjust it to your height. It uh, has a shock absorber in it as well, so it's actually a pretty well-made hiking pole. It's got a rubber tip, a mud guard, because you don't want to get it wet. That's one thing, the hiking strike is not waterproof. Comes with a little reflective security band. And, you know, it's just an all-around sturdy, nice hiking pole for use hiking with a couple major modifications. Namely, there's a stun gun in the handle. Look at that. It says on the package, this is spike electrodes. These are Zaps exclusive extreme spike electrodes. Remember, this is 950,000 volts. Yikes. But it comes with this little protective cap, right? So you don't accidentally hit yourself. I mean, to activate it, you have to push a button way down on it. So there's very little um, risk of accidental discharge. But there's also a flashlight in the tip. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. It's 114 watt or 114 lumen flashlight as well. So it's really useful. Um, so you're hiking along, you know, enjoying a beautiful day in nature. And then all of a sudden, no, it's a serial killer way out here in Death Valley. Why? Well, with the hike and strike, you just grab it, flip it, and then you push this button here. Yikes, are you ready? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it wasn't a very effective demo, but let me show you uh, as if I was hiking. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm hiking in the woods. It's such a beautiful day. No! An assailant! <laughs> I mean, the sound of it alone and the frequency is enough to scare off, you know, most animals without even having to hit them. And it was to assailants as well. It's just like a really, like that sound is just terrifying, right? It just sets me on edge. I don't know if you can see. There's like little sparks lighting up. I mean, this thing is not a toy. It's no joke. This is a legitimate stun gun you can see there's a little zap logo in a legitimate hiking pool it's actually a really cool device and i can't believe nobody invented it before these guys but you know what their company is pretty innovative the ceo my friend's boss the guy who owns the company he actually owns more patents than any person in the state of Arkansas history he has like 32 patents because he comes up with all these crazy different protection devices like they had this uh, st uh, stun gun that was shaped like brass knuckles so that it couldn't be knocked out of your hand. Because, you know, say someone's trying to rob you and you try to stun them and they knock the stun gun out of your hand. Not going to help you very much, is it? Hmm. Not if you have the blast knuckles. You slip your fingers through the thing. And just, oh, they had all kinds of different stun guns. He's a super smart guy. And it was very generous of him to give me one of these hiking strikes. But he knows, they know, you know. If anybody needs one of these bad boys, it's me. 
and they were super stoked that I was going to share it with everybody on my YouTube channel. Pretty cool, huh? And what's cool also about this is it's one of the, if not the only stun gun that's also available in Canada, because Canada has a regulation prohibiting um, concealed weapons, right? So I guess a normal sized pocket stun gun is considered a concealed weapon and it's illegal in Canada. But because this one is so big, it falls outside those guidelines and it's available for sale in Canada as well. So to my Canadian viewers, check it out. The Heiken Strike, or as they call it, the Heiken Strike. Sounds very German. Heiken Strike, Heiken Strike. Talk about German, that's pretty German. Okay, so I can't wait to try this thing out while I'm hiking. I feel like it'll be an amazing, invaluable addition to my uh, outdoors gear. And I think it retails for $79.95, so it's very affordable. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, um, the company is called Personal Security Products, and I'll put a link to their website at the end of this video. But I feel like, honestly, if I'm going to carry this thing around with me, I should know exactly what it does. You know, I feel like I should actually use it on myself so I can feel it for myself. Which is terrifying because it's 950,000 volts. That's a lot of volts, man. Um, and it says in the packaging that if you um, hit your assailant for one to two seconds, three seconds, it's just kind of like a brief jolt to like scare him away kind of a thing. If you really want to screw them up, you uh, hit them for longer than four seconds or as long as you can maintain contact, right? So there's also a little diagram in the manual that shows you the best places to hit an assailant, like that will make the most impact on them. Like if you hit them here on the shoulders or anywhere in the torso or in the groin area, <laughs> that'll stop them. But I feel like I should at least like <laughs> zap myself in the leg just a little bit so I can know for myself what it feels like. I don't have any photo shoots coming up for two weeks, so if it makes a little mark on me, I'll survive. I'm just frankly terrified by it. I mean, listen to this. It's gonna hurt, man. But I feel like in the name of science, I have to do this, right? Oh, let me see. Oh God, I'm so scared. All right, don't laugh. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible. I only hit myself with one of the electrodes. That was cheating. Let me do it again. Oh my god. Oh, this is so the worst thing I've ever done. I'll do anything for you guys. Ow! Man. That would definitely stop me in my tracks. Yikes. I mean, realistically, I did it very quickly and it felt just like somebody snapped a bunch of rubber bands really hard on my thigh. But, oh. Holy cow, I can definitely see this thing stopping somebody in their tracks. Especially an animal. I mean, like I said, the sound alone would be enough to deter most animals. Let me try it one more time, though. I just want to make sure you guys realize, I'll do a close-up, that I actually really stunned myself with this, because I know a lot of commenters are probably going to go, oh, you didn't even really touch yourself. Well, guess what? I did. I just touched myself on YouTube. Uh, wait a minute. That sounds bad. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, hold on. Okay, you guys, this is kind of awkward to shoot this because I'm trying to shoot it by myself on a tripod and holding a GoPro and a stun gun and sh stunning yourself at the same time is not easy. So, But I wanted to get up close and show you on my leg that I'm really doing it. So you have to trust me that this face is actually connected to this leg and it's not just some prop leg. <laughs> okay, you ready? Oh my God, this is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna do it right here on my thigh, okay? <laughs> God. God, it had like some static discharge left on it. One more time. Ow! Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm trying not to cuss in my videos anymore, but that hurt. Okay, that was my review of personal security products, Hike and Strike. It's getting dark already, and I just reviewed the footage that I just shot, and I see that I cut my half my head off in half of it but I don't have enough daylight left to reshoot it, so you're just gonna have to imagine what my forehead looked like in that part of the video. But I assure you, and I'm pretty sure you could tell, that the parts where I was shooting myself in the leg were real. I mean, you can even maybe see, I know it's bad light right now, but there's some 
marks on my leg there from the old hiking strike. Yep, you can see those two red spots. So this thing is legit. This is an actually useful weapon that could maybe even save your life when you're on the trail. So I plan to carry mine with me. Um, and if you want to get one for yourself, like I said, I'll put uh, the personal security products website at the end of this video and you can call them up and order one. Tell them Wonder Hussy sent you. Remember, be safe. Thank you.